Late Surge sends Marsiglia Galvani to Cosgrove title, Thurber Records historic ace. Worcester with a terrific 7 under PAR 65 in the final round on Sunday the team of David Mosheela and Victor Galvani stormed to victory in the 28th annual Walter Cosgrove 4 ball at Green Hill Municipal Golf Course. Mosheela and Galvani both members at Framingham Country Club opened with a 4 under 68 on Saturday three shots off the pace set by first round leaders and defending champions Kyle Tibbetts of Framingham CC and Nick Macario of Bradford CC in Haverhill. The winning 133 total of 11 under PAR for 36 holes of better ball play gave the champions a two-shot victory. We got off to a slow start in the last round finishing one under on the front said the 47-year-old Moss Gila a former Bentley University golfer. We really didn't think we'd be able to chase down the leaders. But beginning on the PAR 5 584 yard 12th hole Moss Gila and Galvani shifted into another gear and the chase was on with three straight birdies, a 10-foot putt and then a 40-footer by Galvani followed by Marcigela's chip in for birdie on the 14th. After those three birdies in a row we got pretty excited said the 41-year-old Galvani a former college golfer at Elon University and a plus two handicap. The winning team who split eight birdies evenly during Sunday's round closed with another birdie barrage on hole 16, 17 and 18 to seal the tournament. For Moss Gila and Galvani this was their first appearance together at the Cosgrove and it will not be their last. We will be back next year for sure promised Galvani. We had a lot of fun and the course conditions especially the greens were great. J.C. Guthrie of Oak Hill CC and Chris Corey of Holden Hills shot 67-68-135 and tied for the runner-up spot at 9 under PAR with Matt Latino and Steve Ferraro. Guthrie and Corey who began the final round two shots off the lead quickly made up ground going 4 under PAR over their opening four holes with Guthrie sinking a 6-foot birdie on the second hole Corey using a driver and 7 iron to within 10 inches of the cup for an eagle tap in on 3 and Guthrie chipping in from 50 feet on the fourth hole. Four teams tied for fourth place with six under totals of 138 in the championship division, Tibbetts and Macario, 65-73, Connor Gillespie and John Zheniski, 67-71, 2019 Cosgrove champ Steve Larson and Mike Hagloff, 70-68, and Scott Vandenberg and Jack Moy, 70-68. Former Cosgrove champions and Assumption University golf stars Sean Magarian and Ryan Filebrown both left-handers tied for 11th after rounds of 72-68-140 a shot lower than another former Cosgrove winning team twins Dave and Dan Falcuxi, 70-71-141. In the A division Jeff Chamberland and Rudy Miranda, 70-73, tied for first with Nolan Riley and Robbie Cannon, 70-73, both at 1 under PAR. The B flight also had a first place tie with net 9 under 135 scores, Ian Tang and Pat Morin, 67-68, and Bill Boss and Dave Boyette, 67 to 68. Something very special happened during Saturday's opening round in the Cosgrove something that had never happened in the 95-year history of Green Hill. On the PAR 4 10th hole which now measures 300 yards from the Blue Tees Rich Thurber from the Haven Country Club made a hole in one. Thurber smashed his drive toward the green leading to the rarest shot in golf the double eagle or albatross. His titliced PROV1X ball landed a bit short of the green and then rolled right into the cup. Experts put the odds of getting an albatross as 6 million to 1. After our course was redesigned about 5 years ago to accommodate our driving range the 10th hole was shortened explained Green Hill head professional Matt Moisson. No one of course in all the years here had ever aced that hole. Until Thurber did it while teaming with his Haven CC partner Mike LaRosa. I'm 48 years old and I've been playing golf since I was about 8 and I had never had a hole in one said Thurber adding with a laugh and I still don't have an ace on a PAR3. Home on Saturday evening Thurber celebrated his amazing shot with his wife Aileen and their two daughters. They all congratulated me it was very nice he said. Then Aileen did a quick Google search found out the odds of an albatross and said you know the odds of winning the lottery are actually better. And then she had a question. Why didn't you win the lottery instead?